Still a new day right here on TV3. And quick interview, we're talking peace, world peace. It's important. After the se uh, September 11 attacks, it's necessary that we all unite even further. But it looks like, you know, unity has become quite a difficult thing for many people around the world. And I believe that's why we have the Planetary Liberation Day. And in the studios, I have Emmanuel Datsin. He's a deputy PR director for Ethereum Mission. Good morning. Good we got morning. you out of your bed very early in the morning, right? <laughs> that's okay. But it's important. If yes. we're talking world peace, then we need to do it as early as possible exactly. but tell me first of all this is my first time hearing about the planetary liberation day tell me mm -hmm. about it what is it okay so the planetary liberation day um, is a day that is set aside to discuss peace mm. um, as you rightly said um, in 2001 our leader and founder brother Ishmael Tete mm. was in the US and then um, after the the 9-11 um, yeah. events yeah. he was called upon to counsel a few people who had been experienced uh, traumatic yeah. okay. um, uh, experience during the attacks okay. and he realized that um, instead of celebrating his birthday which is on the 19th which is today actually oh, happy birthday yes um, he he thought of it to instead of throwing a party he thought of it to do something to help humanity mm. so he did, he launched the um, planetary liberation day with okay. a social wing of ethereum mission in the u.s called conscious humanity mm. so since 2001 every third september of the year we host what we call the Planetary Liberation Day okay. celebration. Okay, since 2001? Yes. Oh, that's lovely. So in 2019, that makes it what? Uh, my mathematics is bad. Let's move <laughs> on. <laughs> anyway, so your theme is My Peace, Your, your peace. peace. Building a Character, character for, for World, world peace. peace. Yes. Uh, what inspired So this two theme? years ago, we launched what we call the Peace Manual, okay. which outlines practical ways in which we can achieve peace. Mm. It's we, we mentioned three approaches in the peace manual. The first approach is schooling the senses. Okay. The second approach is character for world peace. And the third approach is a vision for world peace. Mm. Now, schooling the senses is such that we, have, we are human beings and we operate through our senses. We relate with our outer world through our senses. Yeah. So, for instance, if I should buy you a beautiful Mercedes Benz, two days, <laughs> <laughs> two days later, you are asking me if I love you. Yeah. And... That's if we're 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 dating. So I think you buy me a message. So you're asking me if I love you. Yeah. And it's not because you don't appreciate what I've done for you, but it's because you operate more from your sense of hearing. So you want to hear me say it, mm. although you appreciate what I've bought for you. Yeah. So the senses also play a role in our relationship okay. in issues. So we decided that um, from the um, two years ago, every year we'll take one of the approaches mm. and speak on it. So okay. last year we spoke on schooling the senses. That's why this year we are talking about the character, character for world for peace. World Tomorrow, peace. Um, next year when we are having our forty-fifth anniversary, we will be speaking on the vision for world peace. Oh, you have your theme for next year already? Yes, I see. <laughs> that means you laid down the the plan for this year, even probably a year ago. Yes. Tell me, so World Liberation Day or Planetary Liberation Day? Yes. What's the lineup like? What should so, we expect? This year, we are talking, as we've rightly said, we are talking about character for world peace. Mm. So, we'll be actually having a workshop which would outline practical ways in which you can develop a character that would um, facilitate peace. Mm. We've been talking about peace and holding meetings all around the world and discussing peace for several years, but it's not working. Mm. It's because we need to first look at the individual. It's an individual thing. Okay. You need to look within the individual, look at the um, innate abilities of the individual mm. and channel it through ways that will seek practical ways of achieving peace. Of course, of course. And can anybody be part of this? Yes, it's a free event. Oh, great. It's a free event. Okay. And it's happening on the 21st, this Saturday. Mm. At, um, starts at 10 a.m. at the Ethereum Mission Temple at Sakaman. Okay. So anybody can be part of it. Let's all go. Uh, let's attend and learn how we can all, um, you know, live uh, the character for world peace. It's yes. important. And so I've had Emmanuel Datsin, Deputy PR Director, Ethereum Mission. Thank you so much Thank for thinking too. about everybody in the world and especially yes. in the country as well. We need it the most at this time. Even, you know, in terms of political parties exactly. and the kind of, exactly. you know, um, mini fights that yes. we, we seem to have, we need mm -hmm. it. So thank you so yes. much for joining Thank me you on air.